Now, of course, one of Danger Mouse's main bits of kit is his wicked car. Look how cool that is. We're going to be making it right now. And to make it, you are going to need the following. Four cotton reels, two small cereal boxes, one large cereal box, three sponges, a water bottle, black foam paper, red, black, white and yellow paint, newspaper and loads of glitter to make it look extra sparkly at the end. That's the fun bit. But first we're going to make the frame of the car. So to do that, you need to grab two of your small cereal boxes like so. Now we don't need the front of the first one, so just cut around the edges like that and just simply remove it. You might need it later, so do hang on to it. With your second cereal box, we only need about an eighth of it, a third of it, so that's eight centimetres. So just measure down like this, eight centimetres, cut along, and then simply take it apart like so. You have time to be really neat. And we're not going to need the top either, so just cut along like so, open it up, and get rid of the top bit. And this is because you can see Danger Mouse's car is a little bit bigger than our cereal box here. So this is kind of a little car extension that we're putting on the front like so. And I'm just going to sticky tape it down there. Now you've got loads of time to be neat, but I'm just going to plonk it in place like that for now. Now the next thing you need to do is get your wheels on. This is quite fun, but it, but it is a little bit fiddly, so get help if you need it. Now to do this, you need to work out where you want your wheels, and I would put the back one just a, a few centimetres away from the back there, and then the front one just in the middle of the box. Now grab one of your cotton reels like that, and plonk it where you want it. Draw a circle around it, around both of them and then if I turn over the box you'll be able to see exactly what I've done. I haven't cut around in a circle, I've just made these little slits and what that does it means when you put your cotton rule in it'll really stay in place just like that one is there. Once you've got all four of your wheels in, should start to look something like this, looking nice and neat there. But of course, you can see Danger Mouse's car has got a bit of a slant on the bonnet. So to get that shape, all I've done you can see here, I've drawn from my front wheel a diagonal line all the way along to the bottom of the box like that. And I'm going to grab a pair of scissors. You do this on both sides, like so. Try and make this neat because this is going to be the main shape of your car. So once I get to the bottom like that, don't need that bit, we need to do the top of the bonnet. So I'm going to stick that in place just to make sure it stays there. And to get the top of the bonnet, you need to grab your large cereal box, like so. Now, for this bit, we're only going to need the top of the cereal box. That's this bit. So get rid of the other bit, but do not throw it away, because you'll be very sad when you need it in just a minute. Now, I've got some double-sided tape there. And all I'm going to do is plonk that under both of our front wheels there. Make sure that's down nice and firm. And then simply fold it over like so. Give yourself a little fold mark, that makes things easier. And then you need to stick this bit along the front. You can see Danger Mouse's car kind of has a little zigzag there, and that's where we're going to be putting our sparkly lights a little bit later on. Then it should start looking something like this. It's starting to take shape. You can see the main frame. And the next thing we need to do is get that windscreen on there. So get a pen, just draw on a little, oh dear, that was a bit wobbly. A little oval shape like that, it doesn't need to be too neat, and then cut around it. And once you have cut around it, it'll be something like this one. You're just creating a little window there. How lovely is that? It's beautiful. Now we need to get on our radiator vent. So to do that, I just saved a little corner from one of the boxes earlier. I've got some double-sided sticky tape on the back there. I'm just going to plonk it on right there. Now remember, all these gaps you can see, we're going to papier and mache them later, so don't worry about that. The next thing that you need to do is do the back of the car. You can see we've made a little start here, just with that kind of back seat there. So grab your large cereal box from a little bit earlier. Remember I told you to keep it? This is why, because I'm going to take off the double-sided tape on the bottom of it, and just like before, put it underneath the back wheel and fold it over like so, and then just get a little bit of sticky tape you can be neater than me and plonk it in place like so look there we have that's the main part of our car done now we just need to papier and mache it this is kind of messy and fun so all i've done got a bit of pva glue mixed it with some water this is where you can you can ask mates to help for this bit brothers or sisters plonk it on there you go plonk it like that it doesn't need to be neat just make sure the whole thing is covered fill in all those gaps the ones at the side and at the back do not fill in the windscreen otherwise danger mouse can't see where he's going and there'll be a disaster so once it's all covered up it should look something like here we go 
This one, there we go. Now, the next thing we need to do is obviously do all of our decorations. So, you can see the car is a nice bright yellow colour, but a top tip is before you get your yellow paint on, just grab a bit of white and get that all over it first. And what this does is it stops all the, the letters and the words shining through. Once you've done that and you've let it dry, then it's time to get on your yellow paint like so. Slop it on nice and thick. That is going to look so, so good when it's done. So good, it'll look something like this one. You can see it is really starting to look awesome. We've put some extra touches on now. A little black line there. Our radiator has a little bit of black foam. Our wheels look amazing because we just put a little bit of glitter in there and some black foam around them. They look quite realistic. Now it's time to do the windscreen. You left this bit blank a little bit earlier from the paper mache. So grab a bottle like so plastic one and then just cut out a random shape from it doesn't matter how big as long as it's big enough to fit in there and then once you've done that you just need a bit of double-sided tape along the car and then just gently nice and gently place it in and press upwards you might have a bit more time when you're doing it to make it really neat then you need to get your seats in there as well so the danger mouse has got somewhere to sit so to do that again I've got some double-sided tape and I've just made them painting some red foam. Obviously, I've put some little black seat belts on because every detail counts, of course. Plonk those in there, and then we need to test it for size with Danger Mouse and Penfold. So to do that, I've gone on the Blue Peter website and you get, get printouts of the characters. So here they are. Look how good they're looking. Bit of tape on the back of there. Plonk him in his seat behind the seat belt. And a bit of tape in there, plonking him in as well and then the all-important danger mouse logo this really finishes it off and makes it look awesome i'm exhausted i'm going for a cup of tea that is your very own danger mouse car all the details are on the blue peter website bbc.co.uk forward slash blue peter if you make one send us a picture <laughs>